in 2022 just knowing the skills of app development and web development is not enough let's say in late 1900s when internet was booming when web 2 was booming at that time you would have created a to do application that was awesome right your application would have boomed a lot right let's say you would have built a social media application like mark zuckerberg you would have built facebook it's great but today if you try to build a social media like facebook it's not going to work right because market is already saturated and if you try to create a iphone application or a android application and you're just creating a application where you are just taking the data you are just maintaining the data on the cloud and when the user asks for it you just fetches that data and show it in your ui not going to work when the apple was uh, like uh, in the early stage when apple was founded the iphone was built uh, applications were uh, like getting uploaded on the app store at that time if you would have created a to app to do application or uh, something like that application it was great but now it's not going to work so what is going to work today if you are a app developer if you are a web developer how can you uh, upgrade yourself because if you are accept, uh, expecting a package of over 100000 dollars then just knowing the skills of front end and back end is not going to work if you just know how to code any ui and you know how to create apis how to manage uh, front end with the back end how to integrate jwt tokens for the authentication it's not enough right that's just the that has now become the general knowledge of a software developer right i'm not talking about any single framework i'm talking about all the front end all the back end frameworks flutter react react native node js express js django flask all they are good but actually in today's life you should know how to integrate the machine learning models how to integrate the data science models how to integrate ar vr how to code ar vr applications if someone uh, has built a unity ar vr model then how can you integrate that in your application this is important if someone is a blockchain developer how can you integrate blockchain a uh, module that he has built how can you integrate that with your application right using web3 dart library if you are using flutter using web3 js library if you are using uh, any javascript front end framework like react right or node js express js as a back end then this is now worthy so hey there this is akshay madan welcome back to a new video and in this video i am going to tell you which all skills uh, you already know and how can you upgrade yourself if you know those skills right so let's uh, take my example i know flutter that's good i have built many web2 applications as my projects now if i am talking about web2 that means my projects are only related to client server i am just coding the front end as the client side i am creating the server using node js express js or simple firebase i am just storing the data and communication is happening right good but i have also created some machine learning application this is extraordinary if i'm going to create a resume tomorrow i'm not going to put any client server applications in my projects i'm only going to put machine learning applications in my projects i'm only going to put dapps in my resume right so i have already created one video uh, like three ways to create machine learning applications in flutter you can check that out or you can just click that card button that's totally fine right so i'm going to put dapps in my resume these are important so if i know flutter i can learn web3 dart i can learn solidity i can learn infura i can learn metamask and ganache and truffle right and if you know react also if you know any javascript framework uh, like react or node js express js as a back end then also these things are going to remain same so you need to learn only this stuff once right and they will be applicable in all your frameworks dart or any other right you already know this so you just need to learn once all this stuff the blockchain stuff and you can create dapps in the similar way if you want to learn uh, to make how to create how to integrate machine learning models with your applications you just need to learn how to integrate uh, how to put those machine learning models in your applications right so if i talk about i have already talked about this in my machine learning app creating video uh, three ways then uh, i'll i'll just take uh, uh, again that small thing uh, so if you want to create a machine learning application there are three ways you can use apis that's again client server thing only it is not going to add some value to your resume but how can you integrate a tf like model in your application this is important because this is something new if you have created a model uh, if you have created a machine learning model in python and you have hosted that on a server and you are just using the apis to communicate the data to upload the data and getting the data by the model this is also good but this is just client server right this is not anything extraordinary but if you have integrated that machine learning model inside your application 
you are just communicating with uh, if you are communicating if your client if your user is communicating with the applications model that is integrated inside the assets folder this is important right so i have talked about how you can upgrade yourself uh, from an app developer to a dapp developer and how you can make machine learning applications right now talking about arr this is not yet uh, that much in the market but yes it is booming a lot arr applications are booming a lot so let me give you some examples right this is a very famous application and a lot of applications are there similar to this on the app store and play store you can use ar core google kit uh, google ar core kit and you can create an application which through which you can measure the distances let's say there is a table and using that app you can just uh, make a point on one edge of the table uh, one corner of the table and you can just uh, like drag your mobile and put another point on the second corner of the table and this is going to this app is going to give you the actual distance or uh, from one point to another point right so this is a very basic application i just want to give you an idea how ar vr applications work right so i have one more idea that you can implement uh, and you can upgrade yourself uh, if you want to upgrade so let's create a education application and uh, this idea i had in my mind but i could not implement it because i did not have any much knowledge about ar at that time but yeah i'm currently learning it so uh, the application which i had in mind was to teach chemistry using ar so nowadays it is uh, still better that all the colleges institutes are using those 3d models to uh, you know explain the molecular uh, combinations or links between the atoms right they are having those 3d kits and you can also use smart board for that but let's say the student is sitting at uh, his or her home and he wants to visualize those molecules so using an application where all the important let's say class 12 so in class 12 which all organic things are there organic molecules uh, molecular organic chemistry is there you can just make the models in the unity of those uh, molecules of those compounds and you can integrate that in your 12th class chemistry visualized application and a student can just open the application and he can just choose let's say hydrocarbon and he can click on it and he can visualize that thing he can just drag it he can just pop one carbon out he can just add one more hydrogen and another compound will be formed so this is one more project that you can build i could not build it but if you want to try you can try it i'll also at some point of my life will try to implement it but not currently right so yeah this is uh, how you can upgrade yourself from a normal app developer normal web developer uh, who just knows how to work with database and how to call apis to some another level of app developer some another level of web developer right you can just create a web application of this also right but yeah you cannot uh, like take your pc from one point to another point to just see the another uh, visual right but you can take your phone so you can create a mobile application that will be better so yeah this was all about how you can modify or not modify how you can upgrade yourself so at the last i also want to show you one thing so let's get uh, to my pc and after that we can conclude this video but yes watch this stuff so i just want to show you some articles which are already there on the internet and they make some predictions so this is an article by simply learn and you can see some of the facts that they have put in front of us you can see that according to statista revenue from the ai software market worldwide is expected to reach 126 billion dollars by 2025 you can see the increase in the market right of ai backed applications that's what i was talking about and you can see uh, yes this one uh, a recent 2020 report from statista reveals that the global ai software market is expected to grow approximately 54% year on year and is and is expected to reach a forecast size of usd 22 dollar billion right so that's what i was talking about uh, that having just the skills of normal app dev web dev are not enough now you should uh, upgrade yourself from a normal app developer web developer to an app developer who can integrate ai stuff also right so these are most of the applications and these are some of the categories so you can use in education so this is much more uh, in a better way uh, in this article Uh, so this is an article by volume tree so yes you can see which all applications are increasing rapidly so face detection then ai chatbots nowadays every uh, website you can see this website also is having one chatbot integrated right so almost all the websites are having some chatbots which are nothing but nlp stuff right which is again a machine learning model right so ai chatbots then image and voice recognition then strong app authentication because nowadays normal authentication is not enough uh because of the rates in increase in rates of hacking and all that 
so strong app authentications which will automatically detect some fraud uh, on the software right so landmark detection so yeah you can read all these articles i'll provide all the links in the description now let's talk about the blockchain stuff so this is an article and which is by rmit university australia and they are talking about how businesses are moving towards adopting blockchain rapidly right uh, you can see some of the uh, stats that they have put uh, in one deloitte which is a company survey of 1280 senior executives and practitioners around the world 73% agreed with the statement my organization will lose an opportunity for competitive advantage if we don't adopt blockchain and digital assets right so if all these software companies are going to adopt that means all the websites all the applications that are going to build will have blockchain at some end right so you should have an ability to code this stuff to code or integrate blockchain in your applications right so yeah this was it i hope that you have got my point i hope this video have added some value to your software development journey so yeah till the next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot guys